So some of the materials that we get at Rockaway Recycling are carbide and high-speed steel. These two materials are very similar to each other from appearance at times, but there's a couple of different ways that you can tell what the difference between the two are. One of the first things that we're gonna start with, and that I do most often, is what I like to call the magnet test. Carbide will have a slight magnetic pull to it, but you're able to pull the magnet off relatively easier. The larger the magnet, the stronger the pull. High-speed steel is gonna stick pretty strongly, almost to the point where you have to yank the magnet off with a lot of force. So if you have a bunch of carbide and steel mixed together, one of the quickest ways to go through it, run a magnet through it. You'll see the little pull from the carbide with the magnet, but I'm able to pull it off. The high-speed steel, I can almost pick up the material with it. All right. The other test that I use is a visual test. Looking at the two materials here, they're both drill bits. The high-speed steel is gonna have rust on it. The carbide one will not. So it's a lot cleaner looking of a material. Carbide can have some rust residue on it, but for the most part, it's not gonna rust it the same way as high-speed steel will. If I have any final questions, comments, or concerns on it, what I'm gonna do is take our spectrometer right here. This is gonna give me a breakdown to the percentage of what the material is gonna be made out of. A few seconds of shooting this is gonna show me the uh, material composition. I'm looking for tungsten and cobalt. That tells me we have carbide. When I shoot the high-speed steel, the majority of it's gonna be iron, usually a dead getaway. Anybody watching this, if you guys do have questions on your materials, bring it to the scrapyard, we can analyze it for you.